breaking news out of Lincoln. Huskers new head football coach Mike Riley is in Memorial Stadium meeting with Husker players as we speak. This is fresh video. Looked here right there. He is right there shaking, hand with the, uh, shaking hands with the player. Riley arriving in Lincoln uh, at about 7.01 tonight when his private plane touched down. Uh, he jumped in an SUV. Uh, they drove over to Memorial Stadium, and there he is, our first look at Mike Riley as he arrives to be the new Husker head football coach. He is now on campus. He is in the building, and there he goes. That is our first glimpse and our first look, Phil. And I think that was Johnny Stanton, who is a, one of the five-star quarterbacks that came in to Nebraska to play football, of course, uh, at Nebraska. And who knows, with Mike Riley's offense, he's, he's very innovative. He likes to try new things, but he can also adapt. So who knows what the future of the quarterback position is going to be with the Huskers. Tommy Armstrong has been the starter the last two years. This could open the door for Johnny Stanton. Who knows? It's been a whirlwind day in Nebraska uh, starting at about 11 a.m. when we learned uh, that Mike Riley would be leaving Oregon State to come to Nebraska. Here's another look at fresh video we just shot uh, on the campus of UNL. Uh, Mike Riley to your right, backpack in hand, uh, first player we have seen him greet, and as you can see, he's all smiles. 93 and 80 record at Oregon State with the Beavers. He had been there for 14 years. Mm -hmm. He is relocating to Lincoln, Nebraska with a lot of Husker high hopes now resting on his shoulders. He is 61 years old, started his coaching career in 1975, as Craig mentioned, spent the last 14 years as the head coach at Oregon State, and Phil, uh, not the coach that was expected it was it came out of nowhere he definitely came out of nowhere he wasn't on anybody's list nobody was talking about him on social media since coach Pelini got fired on sunday it's been four days even even coach riley said as he, as he was boarding the plane in corvallis that this all kind of came out of the blue and what a difference a week makes yeah think about it last thursday night the huskers were in iowa city getting right. ready for their and everybody was enjoying thanksgiving, thanksgiving. A, a week later the huskers have a new coach sean eichhorst has his man mike riley there will be a news conference at 9 a.m tomorrow in which they'll introduce mike riley as the new head football coach at nebraska phil will be there action 3 news will be covering we'll have team coverage as well tonight on kmtv action 3 news live at 10 we'll show you more of mike riley we'll look into his background we'll have fan reaction we'll also have your comments uh, from Facebook and Twitter today, and some former players, stars such as Tommy Frazier, weighing in today. We'll have all of that reaction coming up tonight on KMTV Action 3 News Live at 10.